Hello, this is Geo Techland, and today I'll be taking a look at Garuda Linux, which is a Arch-based rolling release distro. And this distro comes in many different flavors, but today I'll be looking at their KDE Dragonized version. This edition also comes with a very cool looking Linux theme, so let's take a look. If you like my content, you can subscribe to me on YouTube, Peertube, and you can follow me on Odyssey. You can also support me on LibraPay, Patreon, and by shopping at Earth Hero. See links in the description below. Alright, so here is the login screen, and what's so cool about it is, you know this is a very gaming-friendly Linux distro when you've got a big old dragon in the login screen, am I right? One thing to keep in mind while I'm recording this, I'm actually running the OS on a virtual machine. So I won't really be commenting on the performance. If you notice any lag with the animations, that's okay. That's just the virtual machine. So after installation, you do get the option of upgrading to Ultimate. If you hit yes on that, it's gonna take you through a series of steps where it's gonna be asking if you want to install certain applications. I feel like if you are you have experience with Linux already and you kinda of know which apps you want, this part of the ultimate process will be a lot easier for you. If you're familiar with all the applications that you're installing, especially all the dependencies, I recommend choosing the upgrade to ultimate option only if you know what you're doing. And here is Garuda Gamer. It has all the gaming software you'll need on Linux right at your fingertips. You have Steam, Custom Proton, OBS Studio, Heroic Launcher, Lutris, Itch, Play on Linux. You've got the full package here, so that's pretty cool. If you've noticed so far this theme look and feel, it's nice in a different way than what I'm used to. You know, if you have a PC and you have all these cool, awesome RGB lights, that's what the icon set reminds me of uh, the most there so i think again it's it definitely does try to appeal to gamers in my opinion one other thing of note is that the built-in firefox is actually very similar to how i customize it i usually have uBlock origin installed the dark reader app so the fact that that is included by default is pretty awesome now one interesting question i asked myself would i switch over to this on my main gaming rig which is the one rig I'm using right now. Right now I'm using Pop OS, and but if I wanted the best gaming performance, normally I'd go to Manjaro. I'd be interested in seeing Garuda and seeing if that will be something I could switch to, just because it caters and it has a lot of things that I look for in the Linux distro. So we'll see. It might make for a good future video. And I will be doing a more comprehensive look at this OS. You know, maybe actually playing some games and testing out the Garuda gaming application. And see how it's all tied together so keep a lookout for that video i think because it appeals to gamers and generally gamers especially that like play on steam i would imagine that most of them are probably more tech savvy than the average person so you know people that are willing to tweak their their system a little bit so again i think this would be a perfect distro to someone that's tech savvy that's willing to learn a few things and wants to give linux a shot and experience that sweet freedom of customization privacy, security, and gaming. As you can see, this OS comes with many good options by default. I think it's a great Linux distro for gaming just because you get all the bleeding edge software and all the cool pre-installed gaming applications like Steam, the heroic Epic Store, play on Linux, and some emulation software. I would probably recommend this for more advanced users just because it is a rolling release distro. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you like this OS? Do you think it's a good option for gaming as well? Let me know. And if you like my content, please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you all next time. <coughs>